So, did you enjoy dinner? I did. It was wonderful. But I can't help but wonder why you brought me here, Kasim. You're not the type to bring a lady to dinner so formally without a reason. What if the reason was one you didn't expect me to have? There is nothing you can do that will surprise me, Kasim. Not even if I asked you to marry me? <laughs> I would be fairly shocked, but I doubt you would want a slut like me as your wife. As I recall, my kind sneaks into beds to get into people's heads. Ingrid. Hmm? Oh my god. Ingrid Connors, I am asking you to marry me. I am a brutish and angry man. But you somehow make me better than that. I can't imagine ever waking up without you by my side. After all of the time we've spent together. I'd give my life for you. Uh, are you seriously asking me this? I would be on my knee if I wasn't. But I meant every word that I said just now. You are the best thing to happen to me. I know that this is a big decision, but... Ingrid, will you marry me? Kasim, I... I don't know what to say. Well, don't say anything and take what you want from me. Everything I have is yours if you want it. I... To think Ingrid would actually say yes to marrying him. He must have been taken by surprise when he asked. I mean, he's not the type of person you'd expect to get on a knee for someone. I kind of guessed they'd get together. I'm more surprised that we got invited to their engagement celebration. That's not surprising. Not like at all. A pivotal moment in their relationship occurred during the party we were guests at. I believe he still has the scar from the bullet wound in his shoulder. From when he protected her. And he bears it with pride. I guess that's romantic. I wonder who else will be there. I have a couple of theories on the guest list, but I can only wait to see if the list matches my thoughts. Always thinking ahead. I'm happy for them. Well, for Ingrid and Kasim? Of course. Still, their marriage will be a heavier burden on Ingrid than it will be on Kasim. How so? Ted, think about it. Come on. The mistress of a companionship web. Okay, married. Let alone to a con man. <laughs> How many people are going to appreciate that when it becomes binding? Eh, they can suck it up. It's not like she was with anyone but Kasim because of his constant request for her. You... you... Well, you have a fair point. Hey, do you think Venka will attend? Why not? She and Ingrid became best friends after the party. True. What about, um, Jay and, uh, Annabelle? Probably. Hmm. Just wait until we get there. You'll see if your theories are right soon enough. <laughs> I don't think I could ever be as laid back as you are, Ted. You'll get there eventually. Here we are. Not bad. I mean, it must be family owned. What? You actually didn't research the place before the drive here. It wasn't worth my time. I'm not here to do business or be an informant for a client. I'm. I'm here to celebrate an engagement, dammit. See, you're relaxing already. Good evening, sirs. May I see your invitation? Ah, yes, uh, here you are. Thank you. Allow me to park your car in our private lot. Sure, thanks. Rather thoughtful of them to include private parking. It's convenient. Eh, uh, I'm more surprised at the increased security. Look, there's three guys at each door. Keen eyes. Still, can't blame them. Can never be too sure. Hello, sirs. Please allow me to lead you to the dining room. You are the last guests to arrive. We're the last ones? Yeah, it must be a small gathering. Huh. Must be intimate family. Hey! It's the sociopath and the ex-cop! Over here! You're with us! And the birdcage. Guest list theory, correct. Jay, <laughs> it's good to see you. Yeah, man, you guys are looking good. It's good to see you both are in good health. Hey, Annabelle, how's everything been going? Better than I expected. 
Since I moved to a new home, operations have resumed and business has been flourishing. I have to thank Venka for her assistance. There's no need for that. After all, Ingrid insisted that I helped, and I can't say no to her. <clears throat> Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, Venka. You look stunning tonight. That she does indeed. Venka, please introduce me. I'm assuming you two are Robin and Blue Jay? Please do not use those names, especially in my presence. Gentlemen, this is my husband, Sven. Ah, so you were the husband we've heard about. Venka spoke of me. Yeah, she told us a little bit about you. Well, I hope to meet your expectations. <laughs> Ow! What the hell? Moving on, I'm quite surprised we were invited to this. From the look of the other guests, we're the only ones not related to Ingrid or Kasim. Uh, well, I just mentioned to Ted on the way here that we were part of a pivotal moment in their relationship. Remember, Kasim took a literal bullet for her that night. Don't even remind me of that party. I'm still very sorry about it. And we believe you, Annabelle, so do not start moping. It's been a year since, and at least most of us have moved on. Has it really been a year since that night? Well, that it has. Would any of you care for a drink? A refill of my Merlot, please. Uh, one for me as well. I'm good for now. Water, please. And what wines do you have? We have many, sir. Would you like to see a menu? No need. Brunello or Insignia, please. We have Brunello, sir, right away. And for you. Have any scotch? Ice, sir? Sure. Staff are friendly. Ingrid staff, well trained. In fact, this is her vineyard, so everyone here works for her. Really? Yes. Venka and I have visited on multiple occasions. The entire perimeter belonged to her father, but he passed away about five years ago. Apparently her mother was written out of the will, so everything, including this vineyard, went to Ingrid. So Ingrid kept the place as a second home and guest spot for important clients. Wait, so she brought important dudes here to get freaky? Yes, I did. That was before Kasim started reserving me for himself. Oh, shit! Hey, Ingrid! Hey, big guy! Mm-hmm. Watch yourself, punk. Kasim, be nice. It's good to see you all. Congratulations, Ingrid. We're all very happy for you. Yeah, you deserve each other. Uh, we would give a toast, but we had just ordered our drinks. Well, that's just no good now, is it? Can't have a toast without drinks. And you are? Mother? Ingrid's mother. You can call me Angela. My husband preferred people knowing me by my first name rather than our shared last. An honor, Angela. I'm sure you're as ecstatic about your daughter being married as we are, if not more so. That I am. My little Ingrid needed to settle down eventually. I'm just glad it's with someone she actually cares about instead of any random partner she's been with. Mother! What? You know I love you and want what's best for you. Of course. Now, please excuse me. I'm feeling a little weary from walking around and greeting people. Well, that happened. Are you all right, Ingrid? I'll be fine. She may be my mother, but this is my celebration and my home. I won't let her ruin either. Is no one going to say it? Okay, I'll say it. Talk about inheriting a sharp tongue. Yeah, that was kind of intense. That normal for you two? Unfortunately. She does love me, but... She has a bit of a chip on her shoulder for not inheriting the vineyard for herself after my father died. Guess true love doesn't always last after mourning. Your drinks. Thank you. Here, since we have our drinks now, how about we raise a toast? I like the sound of that. To Ingrid and Kasim. May your future together be as brilliant as the stars. Very well said, Venka. Yeah, that was pretty elegant. What are you trying to say? A toast. To a bright future. Congratulations, both of you. Thank you, everyone.